Hello, I'm FBX, Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today I want to talk about the 1.5 update, the Aquatic Update Part 2, which is of course going to be the next update coming out for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. That's Minecraft on your Xbox, your Nintendo Switch, your Windows 10, your phones, your tablets, anything where when you open the menu it just says Minecraft. And today we'll be talking about that Aquatic Update Phase 2 because a lot of people are kind of confused as to what's coming in it. Now we have the 1.6 beta confusing things with its phantoms and its barrier blocks. I think they talk about exactly what you can expect in the Aquatic Update Phase 2 so you're all on the same page and you can all be excited for the same level of stuff and the reason I'm doing this video early I usually do them as the update releases but I'm doing this one a little bit early because one again we're in that phase where like people know it's coming soon ish and two because the fact that I feel like this update the things I'm mostly hyped for are these smaller changes the fact that you can actually add for instance I'm breaking to your tridents finally look you can do it as of this update that's wonderful in my opinion there's a lot of other smaller changes I want to focus on after the update comes out so for now let's go through the major things you can expect because there's three major parts of this update so let's get straight into the video give it a like if you do like it because it helps out the channel let's now you do like these all feature videos, I want to keep seeing more of them, but let's get straight into talking about the very first feature, which is going to be the sea turtles. So sea turtles are a brand new mob found in this update, they look like this, again they're kind of ridiculous, they're called just turtles on the uh, Java version of the game, and they're called sea turtles here, reasons we're not really too sure, they might change for the full release, but they look like this, and again they uh, spawn on beaches mostly, and they'll always remember the beach they spawn on, because they'll come back there at some point later in their life to lay these eggs, because these eggs are dropped by turtles when they breed. So again they look like this, they can actually, uh, they're one of the few interesting Minecraft items because they spawn up to four uh, times in one block and yeah we get uh, baby turtles when those things hatch and when a baby turtle does grow up into a fully blown adult you'll get something called a scute from them so the scute looks like this I mean we could wait for the babies to grow but how about we just assume okay babies already grown up into adults and now we got ourselves some scute so these scutes are going to be used for two things one is for brewing and the other one is for making the turtle helmet so the turtle helmet is crafted with five of them in a pattern that looks like this right here as you can see easy 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 stuff and if you do that you get a turtle shell helmet the turtle shell helmet then is enchantable it has a high enchantability so as you can see I got a bunch of good stuff in these and then you can put a turtle shell helmet on your head which is not only great for enchanting but also gives you about uh, an extra 10 seconds of free water breathing time so you can breathe underwater for twice as long effectively by using this also it means because it recharges instantly you get you know more than double it's just a wonderful uh, little thing in most situations you're gonna want to get one of these uh, yeah little turtle shell helmets which is quite nice so moving on from the turtle uh, and the turtle shells uh, let's talk about the turtle uh, po the part <laughs> potion of the turtle master because this is one of the weird things coming in this update so you know turtles are a pretty expectable thing like yeah they're aquatic they look like they belong here I'm, I'm down with it like look at this this fella he's a big boy but I understand why he's in the game but what's the deal with the potion of the turtle master this is one of the weirdest things to describe because it's a potion which gives you a huge amount of slowness a minus 60% speed penalty in exchange for resistance free so in exchange for getting 60% less speed you have 60% more resistance to attacks from anyone which if you stack that with good armor is insane there is until this point not a resistance potion that is widely available so uh, even though you have to sacrifice a lot of speed seriously this is what I look like look how ridiculously slow this is um you have sacrificed a lot of speed and although you can get some of that back in uh, sprinting uh, now I'm basically impossible to kill which means that this is a really good defensive m maneuver like if you're in combat and you think you're about to die if you take one of these potions on board you might just flip your odds around also you make it very hard to see stuff so there's one other type of potion it's a uh, lot shorter it's only 20 seconds but in exchange you get slowness 6 and resistance 4 so resistance 4 is 80% damage resistance in exchange for 90% speed penalty and this one just looks ridiculous so I feel like I have to show it to you this is what it looks like as you can see i'm moving at literally this speed uh, in case you're curious why it zooms in uh your speed determines your field of view in minecraft for bizarre reasons but uh because of that it means that as you can see even though i'm going at my very top speed uh i'm <laughs> barely able to see anything and yeah i would honestly i would say this potion is going to change pvp on any server that allows it because if you're in a pvp fight even if you have two hearts and they have nine you know like they have four and a half times more health than you you can still win pvp if you have resistance four and although you can't chase them you can stop yourself dying and it can, if the, again, it's like a, a last resort potion that I think might change everything in PvP. We'll have to wait and see which servers do accept it. But yeah, the potion of the Turtle Master, ridiculous, and will be brewed using the Turtle Shell slash the Skew. So, moving on next, let's talk about the next change in this update because they have uh, decided to make it, because this is one you're going to need to know uh, in your current stuff, they've uh, decided to give a use to the Nautilus Shell, or, be, or it always knew it was coming, but the Nautilus Shell exists in the previous update. You can find these right now, and in fact, go out, find these right now, right now 
now if you're watching this video, get some Nautilus shells, because if you combine eight of those with one heart of the sea, what you'll get is a conduit item. So the conduit, if you've seen it, you know, yeah, this is the big stuff. If you haven't seen it, you're confused as to why anyone would care enough to craft that much effort into something that looks like a little square cube. Seriously, look at the size of this thing, it's tiny. But yeah, uh, the power of this thing is it's one of the more uh, powerful items that has ever existed in Minecraft. So if we, uh, let's just make ourselves a bunch of prismarine. If you surround it with a bunch of prismarine blocks, the amount kind of depends on a few situations, but uh, if you surround it by uh, prismarine blocks, uh, like we're gonna do right here, and then you remove the block below it, uh, what actually happen is the, the conduit will activate and give you power. So any type of prismarine block will work, dark prismarine, prismarine brick. You can use regular old prismarine if you want to, and in fact, we'll do that right now just to prove a point, but you can use any prismarine type you like, and if you do so, you'll get the conduit power. The conduit power, as you can see based on my thing in the top right there, uh, is actually a power which allows you to see underwater, it allows you to breathe underwater, it gives you extra mining speed, attack speed, it gives you a bunch of extra benefits while you're below the water, and if you're ever doing serious stuff below water in Minecraft 1.5, the aquatic update part two, you're gonna want one of these. So get yourself Nautilus shells right now, if you're watching this video, you got part one of the update, and you don't have Nautilus shells, you're doing something wrong. Go fix that. Go, 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 go make that better. Uh, because again, this is one of the survival features I'm hyped for. I love late game Minecraft stuff. You combine this with a beacon, and you're just mega, mega powerful even underwater. And yeah, it, that gets me hyped. I, I think we need more stuff like this, maybe even if it's one thing an update, just because I love it so much. Even if most people probably want to experience it in survival, it's great to see regardless. Next up we have uh, the, the third of the major three pillars is uh, the water physics. So water physics means that, you know, if you go to a soul sand or to a lava, uh, sorry, a magma block, they'll actually push you up or push you down respectively. So uh, lava or magma, because it's magma, it brings you down, it like brings the bubbles down. Whereas soul sand has bubbles trapped within it, which slowly leave. So if you place soul sand below the water, it gives you a huge boost up. Seriously, look at the speed of this thing, like from here up to there, that fast, pretty insane. And uh, magma does the reverse, it drags you down. You know, it's like, a, it's like a bad friend that just keeps on bringing up that terrible thing that you did all that time ago. It's like, stop dragging me brown lava, go go find yourself a soul sand friend instead. So yeah, with that said, that's a thing you can do as of this update. It's worth mentioning your bubbles won't necessarily look like this, because if we mention the other, in my opinion, the best feature, but like a thing that you're gonna notice, is that they also brought in the brand new title screen in this update. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, you need to go to this title screen if you wanna use the fancy bubbles effect. So I'm gonna turn that off right now. You might wanna turn it on via your menu screen, but if you have fancy bubbles turned on, you see less bubbles, Whereas if Fancy Bubbles turned off, you see a more consistent and easier to see bubble types. So just keep that in mind. In this update, the third and major feature, it looks better before, like, you can agree this looks worse, but it is easier to see. So again, it's kind of like the, you know, do you turn colorblind on games, even when you're not colorblind, just because you like seeing things. If you're that type of guy, you want to turn off fancy bubbles because they're easier to see. You can see them at the surface because they're like, you know, block size and stuff. And you can even see them on one uh, size blocks, just like this. So yeah, have you ever wanted to little ba bounce on a block like this? That's a thing you can do in this update. So yeah, they are the major features found in this update. There's a new mob, there's a bunch of new items, there's a new potion type, and there's a new kind of water physics. It's not as big as the aquatic update phase one. That's something we need to kind of state right here. And it doesn't include all of the Java edition 1.13 features because uh, officially the aquatic update for bedrock is all of the aquatic themed features in this update, not all of those features whatsoever. Also, just because like I, I played around with this update just after it came out and I had a lot of fun. So if you haven't seen that, I want to show you one of my favorite bits because um, the, the water pushing up will work at insane different uh, distances. Uh, so for instance, if we go over here to my huge pillar of water, uh, you can actually see better just how fast you get pushed up and thrown down because lava and, uh, you know, soul sand will allow you to make a whole bunch of new contraptions only in this update and it's something that I feel like we really need to clarify. Also, like I said earlier, like getting unbreaking, there's a bunch of other tiny changes you want to keep in mind, but the big ones are new menu screen, it's new water physics, such as this right here. Look at this, wait, uh, so I'm, I'm right in between right now, so if I, I'm going to stay straight still, but if I go into one of these, you can see at the, uh, the pace, which will push me up. Seriously, look at this. I, this is me not flying. This is me not touching the controls at all. I'm going up at something like five or six blocks a second. This is gonna be the new best way to elevate people in Minecraft. And if you wanna drag people down, it's still best to jump out of the water. But still, the fact that you can climb 200 blocks of water this fast, and bear in mind that when you're in these bubble streams, you also get your air regenerated, is kind of a wonderful thing. And uh, yeah, you, if, if you wanna get off the fastest, all you have to do is jump off like this. But still, it's, it's the principle that counts, right? So yeah, that's the thing about this. Uh, the thing about sea turtles is you wanna breed them, you wanna find the beach that they started at, so you can go back there, and you can collect their turtle babies and their scutes when you're done, because you need five of those for a turtle helmet, and you might need some more for, you know, uh, to obviously make the potions when that properly works. And uh, yeah, that's the thing you want to keep in mind. Look for these sea turtle legs because uh, if you follow them for long enough, you might just find yourself a turtle shell helmet. And then the final thing is obviously that you want to, uh, you know, pay extra attention 
to uh, you know any mobs that hold uh, nautilus shells because you want those, you want their you know, heart of the sea, you want to craft all the conduits because one of the things I want to do if I can get enough of these is to kind of cover my sea in half uh, in uh, conduits, have like an entirely uh, usable undersea area. But that's just a dream and that's just today's video. As soon as the update's out, I'll go over all these features very briefly and if they've changed, as well as all the fun little tiny features because they're the ones I'm hyped for. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed today's 1.5 feature video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Do you want to see these videos before the update comes out or are you like, no, I don't want to be hyped for anything until it's out and officially. Let me know, comments down below. But for now, hope you all enjoyed the video because I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Wait, no, the, the last thing you have to see in this video is the menu screen. Like, you have to appreciate the beauty here. So, goodbye.